I got this uh, package from Beehive Cheese Company. And uh, they sent me, um, well, let me just show you what they look like. Uh, I don't know if you guys have ever sent cheese as a gift. It's so much better than sending flowers. It's so much better than sending chocolates. It's just, it's so creative. There's so many different things you can do with cheese. One of my favorite is like, I have eight year old aged cheddar cheese. I sent my dad for Christmas walnut fudge cheese. Are you kidding me? There's so much you can do with it. So come on in close, I'll show you the flavors they sent me, and then we're gonna give it a try. They sent me a nice card, and it says, hey Jack, thanks for supporting our small family creamery. I love supporting family businesses, that's awesome. You make our way of life possible. Enjoy the cheese. The Beehive Team. So these cheeses come from Northern Utah. The first one is Promontory and is an Irish style cheese with buttery full body texture and snappy citrus like fruity notes. Interesting. Alrighty. This one is Big John's Cajun. I'm gonna like this one, I know it. Rubbed with a secret Cajun recipe. This one, apple, walnut, smoked. That's interesting. This one here is called Sea Hive, rubbed with sea salt and honey. Well, that's gonna be awesome. Nothing like salty and sweet at the same time. This one is barley buzzed, rubbed with espresso and lavender. What? That is so cool. It has subtle, subtle notes of butterscotch and caramel in it too. Wow. And this one here is called Tea Hive. Rub with Earl Grey tea. Yay! This one's gonna be awesome too, I bet. I even broke out my Miracle Blade cheese knife. You know how I know it's cheese? Because it says cheese on the knife. All right, so let's start with the first one. Uh, the Prama... Pro... Why am I having trouble with that word? Promontory. So this is an Irish-style cheese that's kind of buttery with some citrus notes in it. This is amazing. Okay, so you know how like really good aged cheeses, they kind of crumble in your mouth? This is tangy. Uh, it is buttery. It's weird. I don't know if I've ever tasted like buttery cheese before. I'm not tasting the citrus as much as they describe. Oh, what a great cheese. That is really good. Um, it's not too overpowering kind of a medium flavor. So if you don't like strong cheese, this is kind of right in the middle. Really good stuff. Big John's Cajun. I love Cajun. Whoop. Uh-oh. Hmm. Can't drop a piece. Not at all. Kind of earthy flavors. Also that dry crumbliness, which I really like. The back end has the Cajun seasoning. Not as strong as I'd like it. Not that you can see it on camera, but between each cheese that I'm tasting, I'm eating a wheat then to kind of clean my palate, change the flavor away from the cheese. So when I come back to the cheese, um, it'll be strong and I'll be able to describe it for you guys. All right, apple, walnut, smoked. I'm getting more of the nuttiness out of it than the apple. It also is a very light, delicious. These cheeses, the, the base cheese that they're working with is amazing, the quality. Once again, that dry crumbliness is really awesome. This one is called Sea Hive, rubbed with honey and sea salt. Here we go. You can get that hint of sweetness from the honey. And yet, as most cheese is salty, this has that saltiness to it also, but more of the, the sweetness. That's really nice. Okay, so I found a little typo on their end. This cheese says barely buzzed, and on their sheet that I was reading earlier, it says barley. They've switched the E and the L. So whoever is watching from the company, I'm sure you already know this, and I don't want to be the one millionth person to tell you, but it's spelled differently on the label than it is on your, your one sheet. Just an FYI. So what's on the label is barely buzzed. And on here is barley buzz. But 
This is the one with the espresso and lavender. Are you guys ready? Mmm. Mmm. I think that one's my favorite. The espresso's pretty cool. Espresso and cheese. I love it. All right, here's the one. It's called Tea Hive. Got tea in it. Oh, yeah. Right, right away. Mmm. Wow. Earl Grey, you never tasted so good. I would be proud to give this as a gift to anybody in my family. So check them out. I've got their website down below. It's the Beehive Cheese Company. I want to thank you guys for giving me all these cheeses to sample out and to talk about on my show. Thanks for sending them. I love you guys, and I'll see you on the next episode. Bye-bye. All right, let's go over what they sent us. This one, I, I'm not a cheese professional, so I may mispronounce these words or descriptions or whatever, but this... Take 400. All right, let's go over what they sent us. This one is Promontor, Promontory. Creamy, smooth. And by the way, all these, oh my goodness. Take 500. All these cheeses come from the, the company. This family company, by the way, is out of northern Utah, in case you wondered where their creamery is. Is it a creamery? You know, like when they, I, I don't know if they dry age these or what the terminology is. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. I just gleaked all over the set.